Hey fams, welcome back to my channel. So today I am giving you two DIYs for DIY Tuesdays. I'm going to show you how I applied board and batten to my daughter's bedroom. Uh, as you know, we are in the process of decorating or renovating it. Um, and we just applied some board and batten to her walls and just wanted to show you the process of how I did that. So I have two four foot or not two, but um, some four foot but wood, and um, and I just applied them to either side of the windows on the walls, and then underneath the windows, um, the wood is cut down to about three and a half feet. Um, and so here you see me going in and adding all the board to the walls and just screwing them in. Now I made a big mistake of screwing them in with drywall screws, although they did work, but it gave me a lot of issues. Next time I would use wood screws to screw them into the wall. I love the way that they turned out. And I don't remember the size. I think it was a one by three or one by two wood um, by eight feet. And this is the way that it turned out. So it's a very simple DIY. Anyone can do it. Um, and I love it. And so does she. So right here, I am getting ready to paint my dining room table. Yes, you guys might think I'm crazy, but the dining room table is, um, it's a lacquer finish that is on the table itself. It's not necessarily real wood. Um, and so my kids, it's like dented up and scratched up and it just looks awful. So I spoke to my husband about it. He gave me the green light and I went ahead and I started painting. Um, I chose an almond color. It's by rust -Oleum. It's the same color that I used on my coffee table in my living room. I just love this color, you guys. I also use it on my armoire in our master bedroom. And I just love it so much. I think it's so bright and it gave the table such a beautiful look. It looks elegant, but I'm still um, able to stick to that modern farmhouse vibes that I'm going for, you know, with a bit of traditional twist. And so I just, I love the way that it, that it looks and the way that it turned out is super beautiful and everyone absolutely loves it. My sister-in-law is here and she just could not believe that I did that because I started um, in the middle of the day and she had seen the table prior to it painting and then by the time she saw it again, it was painted. So <laughs> she really couldn't believe that. I did that in such a short amount of time, but I just, I love painting furniture. It's my zhuzh and I just love the way that it turned out. just going over the table and giving it um, the second or third coat 
and kind of just touching up um, areas that needed to be touched up. You guys, definitely try this if you can. If you have a piece of furniture and it is just not what your style is calling for anymore, go ahead and paint it. You don't have to go out and buy brand new furniture and pay all that money. Paint does wonders, I'm telling you. Majority of my furniture in my home is thrifted and painted and no one would ever know if I don't tell them. So go ahead and be creative and you know, Try some paint, put a splash of color somewhere to go with the season that um, is present. And you will be surprised how much ch paint actually changes your space. So guys, if you are enjoying DIY Tuesdays and if you enjoyed these two videos, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet done so. It is always free. I do welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for coming by and supporting me. And all my oldies but goodies, y'all know I love y'all to life. So make sure you leave your comments down below and tell me which DIY is your favorite and if you are going to try to paint some type of furniture. Um, I love you guys so much. Remember, Jesus is Lord. He loves you and I love you too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.